Hello to all my comic book aficionados, Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Today is Indie Comic Day, and we are going to be reviewing Calico number one. So uh, Mr. German, uh, who also worked on Calico uh, number one, he's over at Sigma Comics, and he was kind enough to send me a copy of his new comic, uh, which you see here, Calico. And uh, my first impression of this was... Uh, I thought he kind of looked a little bit like Black Panther. I mean, the the suit, I get it, you know, Black Panther and Calico Cats, they're both cats essentially. But uh, as you dive in and you take a look at the story of this comic book, you really get the sense that this could is the farthest thing from a Black Panther comic book. If anything, it uh, bears more resemblance to something like, like, a, like a Punisher comic book. So um, this book here deals specifically with the topic of animal rights. And in recent memory, I cannot think of any comic book that has really uh, tackled that, that issue. And if you can think of another comic book that tackles the specific issue of animal rights, please let me know in the comments below. But uh, this is a very, very strong story uh, that has a strong animal rights message. So the hero... Here, I'll kind of show you. Um, this is a Sigma Comics, and uh, you know we have a picture of Calico, and this is our hero here, uh, his his alter ego, very fit, uh, but he seems like a man of very modest means, but yet he has access to all of this, uh, you know, all this high tech suit and all of these uh, high tech gadget sort sorts of things, and. Uh, you know, he, he's very, very determined uh, to make sure that all of the animals in the world are safe. Uh, so the book here, it, it has a lot of uh, gratuitous violence, and uh, that's where it kind of resembles more of a Punisher comic book rather than a Black Panther comic book. Uh, and in this issue specifically, he is going after animal poachers, big game hunters, who are just hunting these animals for for trophies. This hero here, Calico, he goes and he takes down these poachers and kind of makes these poachers get a taste of what the animals go through uh, when they're being hunted. Now, the book does leave you enough mystery and enough little plot points that kind of want you wanting to know a little bit more about this character and this world. He gets this text message from another character in the story, and you're kind of wondering what's going on. You really want to know kind of who's funding his endeavors. Now, this is the first issue in an eight-issue miniseries, and the next book is out right now, actually, I believe. I'll actually link uh, Sigma Comics' website below, so uh, you can check out these comics, order a copy of your own if you would like uh, to support this book and its mission of protecting animals i think i think it's uh very very noble and i think it's very original like i said not very many uh comic books out there are really kind of dealing with that issue nowadays most comics are dealing with uh, social justice uh issues rather than uh animal rights so if you want to know more about calico number one you could check out the link below to sigma comics's website and I really hope uh, you go out and you show your support for this comic book because I think it's a great one. And I really, really look forward to seeing what a Sigma Comics does next with this character. Have you read this comic book? Do you plan to read it? Let me know in the comments. As always, would love to hear from you. And as always, can't wait to see you all again in the next episode.